Amanda Shaw. And we're here to celebrate our journey together. That uh, we are going from Canada, January 3rd. It is freezing cold outside and unfortunately it's dark outside so we can't really show you but it's about minus 25 or something. Yeah. And we're like going that. to cold. warm weather, Costa Rica. We're going to Costa Rica. So we're just at the Winnipeg airport right now and we're waiting for a flight to Toronto and tonight we'll be in Costa Rica. And we are doing this um, with neither of us working a job. Yes, and this is um, exciting because we're going for four months and so we're actually going to be living on uh, renting a little place on a permaculture farm near Uvita. Can I have your attention please? This is a general boarding call for so we're on the airplane now and this one thing I want to mention was that what was really cool was we got to skip like half an hour of the line waiting to go for the security because we had a little ocean. We got like it was like five people in front of us instead of like fifty. Yeah, so that was really cool. Yeah, so we're doing this. We are creating the life that we desire, which is um, going to the tropics in the Go. So we're just sitting in front of Museo de los Niños, which is the museum for children here in San Jose. And it's beautiful. There's a bunch of birds flying around right A bunch of, of birds flying all over <laughs> the place. Kind of cool. And a guy selling um, balloon iguanas behind us that little dancing balloon iguanas. It's cute. It is cute. And uh, we just wanted to update on our how our travels went. Um, when we landed in San Jose Airport, uh, we went through and you know, walked out of the plane, walked towards the the passport. Customs. We went to customs. Yeah. Was it, yeah. Was it customs? Yeah. It was kind of. It was a the guy that stamped our passports that we entered the country, right? And we're like literally standing in this big lineup with all these people and. This guy gets out of his booth, walks up to us, and says, "Come forward." And he unhooks, opens, opens unhooks the gates, the gates and then he lets us through. Because our, our daughter the, was kind of crying a bit, and so we and cut so, the whole line yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, and so the first thing I said to him is, "You must have kids." And I said in Spanish, so, um, and he's like, "Yeah." And he told, told us how many, and then next thing you know, he's showing us pictures on his phone of his kids. I just thought to myself, this would never happen yeah. in the United States or When would or you Canada. ever see a customs officer like, like chatting, like smiling and chatting and taking out a picture of his children and showing you? It was oh. just like, I was like, wow, very different culture. Yeah. We, could, we could feel it as soon as we arrived. And then, uh, then we took an Uber, which was the first time we took an Uber anywhere. Yeah, actually, yeah. And um, <clears throat> the guy was really friendly and like just chatting and yeah he was like let me know if you ever need well obviously anyone wants business but he was really like adamant like call me if you need any help and but we've been busting since we've been here for this is our third day in San Jose we've been staying um, we found uh, someone on couch surfing to stay with and the guy is an amazing guy he is a yoga instructor which is totally up our alley yeah he has a nice so, big movement space he has a bar you can hang from he has like aerial silks and a hammock and this beautiful big shiva drape in his movement room yeah and really nice such place. a such a nice space yeah really kind of uh, clean and simple and uh quite masculine in that sense because he lives alone he actually it's really cool he lives um he has two sons and the mother of the children is his girlfriend but they don't live together i guess they've never moved in together they were dating and then they had they just they had kids but they never moved in together as like a normal nuclear family as we know it would so he's like you know the only con is that it's a little more expensive because now we have two houses to pay for but um i imagine it would give the freedom and the independence and that that sense of self that can sometimes be lost in a relationship so that was quite interesting mm -hmm. to learn about that and it's obviously a reason we're staying with him and meeting him and uh, learning learning and um, so now we're actually about to meet him and his kids for the first time going to the museum together meet his kids for the first time yeah. 
and was talking about how we were taking the bus. We were taking the bus and we sat beside this lady and she was just like, oh, I'm, I'm stopping at the same place as you, I'll show you. So we get off with her and she's like showing us around, showing us these different places and gives us her number. She's like, oh, let me know if you need anything. Like, just so friendly. Yeah, it's really friendly people here. Yeah. And it was funny when we were with uh, our couch surfing host, he was telling us, oh, like if you're gonna ask for directions, just be careful because the Costa Ricans are really friendly and they don't want to like let you down by not helping you. So they might give you wrong directions. And sure enough, he goes to ask someone for directions and they gave him the wrong directions. So, so then he asked two more people. Right? Yeah, that's like, smart. Then compare it. Yeah, compare, ask more than one person. Yeah, so. Yeah, so that's our update for now. So we're loving it so far, this uh, lifestyle where we are living in a tropical country in January instead of being in minus 20 Minus degrees. 30 degrees yeah, Celsius. It's nice. It's very nice. Yeah. Hey. Hey. So we just got back from a really fun day with our couch surfing host and his family. We went to the Children's Museum, which was actually an old jail in San Jose. And it's this huge, like, castle-like place. It's been transformed, <clears throat> and it's, it reminded me of sort of a, a labyrinth in a way, but, like, not meant to be a labyrinth, but just, like, all these different rooms full of different themes. And, like, for example, there was a... Rooms about space, space theme. Um, dinosaurs, there was um, lots of educational stuff like about recycling, about money, how it works, about, about your teeth, yeah, about just... aviation, how it was invented. And yeah, it was really quite neat and fun. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so uh, afterwards, we went and ate some food and um, and then we went and met with uh, our cart surfing hosts, uh, well, his his girlfriend, and then her sister, and um, got to got see, to meet their family, like, yeah, where they the live, kids, where they live, and it's pretty neat. They all live like five of the sisters. Are they all sisters? Um, no, they're the different sisters and brothers. Sisters and brothers. Five of the six siblings and the mother all live like in this one like villa like all house by house nearby it's like, like house beside house beside house and they're kind of attached you know in latin america all the houses are sort of attached to each other so you just don't really know like where one starts where one ends um mm -hmm. it's really cool and um so we got home tonight and we were just and and our car surfing host is off to a friend's party and he's not coming home and this is the second night that he hasn't come home and mm -hmm. we've been here for this is gonna be a fourth night and um, it's just so neat. We realized, you know, we were we basically have our own place, like as if we were renting a house or something, you know, just for a, you know a few nights here. And it's beautiful. It and it has a gorgeous space for space. us because we're both movers and yeah. We were just talking about how and... it's like we couldn't. I couldn't even have thought of a better situation that we meet someone who's a yogi. So for one, he's aligned with our, our way of thinking. In the sense of like our philosophy and what we, you know, our, our way of being, but also the fact that he teaches yoga, so he has a yoga space which we both love to move. So that's like a huge piece. Mm -hmm. And then the fact that he's uh, has his own place, even though he has a family. So they, him and his partner, have their they both have their own houses still. So we can stay in that place to ourselves. And we also get to meet people. We get mm -hmm. to hang out with his whole family and have that, like, mm -hmm. in with the culture. But then we still have our space to ourselves to kind of relax yeah, in the evening and in the morning. And our daughter bonded with his sons today. And that was really nice because we met them today for the first time. And by the end of the night, they were playing and she didn't want to go home. Or go home come back here. <laughs> yeah. and, um, so they're going to come over tomorrow and we're going to oh. hang out with them tomorrow. We're going to go for a yeah. walk and then going to make food together and... Yeah, uh, it's just, um, it's amazing what kind of um, experiences and uh, opportunities there are in, in our life that we might never even think possible. Mm -hmm. And we would never would have come across it if we did the conventional, like, 
rent a hotel or Airbnb even. Mm -hmm. We like mm -hmm. it's not it's not I mean you can Costa Rica is a pretty friendly place. Like we met this woman on the bus, but it's not the same as being in someone's house. In someone's house and then meeting their family. Yeah. And, they, and yeah, it's really neat. Because you really do feel like I feel like they kind of take us in like like part of their family or part of yeah, like mm -hmm. we're kind of these long lost relatives or something and they're just like yeah, yeah, like, mm. oh, it's beautiful. So mm -hmm. we're loving our experience here. Yeah. So we're her, now we're probably just going to hang out, yeah. have some tea, and watch Netflix, because he has Netflix, and we don't, we don't <laughs> he has have a big TV, and we're mm -hmm. like, oh, we don't have this at home. <laughs> yeah, why, why not enjoy it? So, yeah, we'll update you uh, when we update you. Hey, so here I am in Costa Rica. And um, we are at Finca Provision, and we've been here for over a month. And we are transitioning to a raw plant-based diet. Um, today is sort of a day one of feeling like we're definitely committed on the path, but we're not pushing ourselves and we might still have some cooked food if we need to, um, because we don't want to yo-yo, we want to do the slow and true transition. But so far today, we had no cooked food and we feel great. And um, here's some rock cookies I made today. Rock we just had a salad with... Um, lots of avocado and lots tomato. Lots of avocado and tomato, because we had ripe stuff that we need to use up. And lots of greens from the farm. So this is great. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it was a good day. We, we cleaned the pool and... Um, just feeling like more energy already. Just day one, I'm feeling good. Mm -hmm. The breakfast, we had dehydrated pancakes with papaya and mango. And even though it was pancakes, which normally I feel kind of sluggish afterwards, I felt light, I felt energized, and it was great. And the, mm -hmm. we were doing the pool, so I didn't, I only had that for breakfast, and then now we had salad. And that's it, right? Yeah. I think so. And I and papaya I felt, and mango, of course. And I felt so yeah, energized and light and it's just like great. Hopefully every day is just easy. <laughs> mm hmm mm hmm Yeah, and just a little note about you know, here we are living on a farm. We subletted our apartment for four months and we came to live in Costa Rica because we wanted to escape the cold Canadian winter and live in community and so we've literally been plucked plucked out of this um life of like our apartment where it's just the three of us and and like what i'm trying to say it's just it's just it's like we're living a part of a dream that i've had for a long time in a way like living with community and and shared kitchen and but yet our own sleeping space and mm -hmm. it's coming together we've been talking about really it for a long neat. time yeah and then now it's like oh all of a sudden we're here in costa rica living in a communal mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. that's like really, really happening eating raw food <laughs> yeah. one thing at a time yeah one thing at a time and we were like planning on coming and working on a business right away but that yeah. didn't really happen the way we thought it would we worked a little bit on it it's going to be about um, empowering women. I have a lot of you know, knowledge and movement and sacred sexuality. And then when we thought about also relationship stuff. And now I'm like, oh, we could do anything. You know, We could even probably help people transition to raw food. Anyways, we're excited. We have unlimited potential. And we just want to remind everyone in the world that... The world is your playground. <laughs> and that there's gonna be low times and high times and and just to embrace everything and to keep going towards the light and towards the growth of your soul and spirit and what your purpose here is on earth and how to love more. Another interesting tidbit that I pick up lately is in the low times, the challenges that come up, to see them as blessings to see them as a gift and even as something that you've specifically chosen and as soon as I start to see what I would have previously labeled as painful or 
times that I don't want, if I start to see them as blessings, I start to see the gifts in them and I start to reframe them as, oh, this is an opportunity for me to discover something about myself. And all of a sudden it, it totally changes my, my perspective of the situation. And I feel so much better about myself and, and about just my life in general. Mm -hmm. uh, so outlook on life mm -hmm. is no. amazingly powerful. Yeah. No. No. Want to get one more? Yeah. Okay. And um, we've been playing music, which has been awesome. And we had a big group of people here for the first few weeks that we were here. We've been here for a month and a half now or so. And the first month, um, there was like the group got really big, like I want to say 12 people or something. No, no. So no, no, no. We could barely fit around the table. No, no, no. Yeah, that's up to the same okay. And uh, so playing music, and I got really, yeah, into the community vibe, and people come and go here, right? Because it's sort of a working place. And, and um, right now it's low, it's just the three of us and one other woman staying here at the community center and one woman renting the house up the hill. And it's really nice because it's, oh, you can, extra, extra. Um, yeah, anyways, it's just nice because it's calm and um, it was really busy like up until pretty recent, so. And, um, but it's just been, it's been so great. I've been so, I'm so happy we came. And I'm happy we're here and not on the beach. We went to the beach for one day, but I realized that's not where I want to be right now with a two-year-old. Um, it's like constant monitoring, constant like making sure, you know, obviously not going to let her go into the waves by herself. And then sand everywhere and the sun is a little Baby. too much because it's reflecting Baby. off the ocean. And it's really hot. And yeah, so it's just everything just felt like not the kind of experience that I need right now. So the being in the mountains is so perfect with ocean. And pee pee? Is that pee pee? And, um, Loving it and loving that we came yeah. here. I'm loving that I faced the fears of the unknown. And, okay. and, and left the place that, that I thought was home. Because really, home is wherever we make it. And I'm already adapted here. Like, we first got here and I was so used to, you know, civilized. I was in clean, um, you know, just everything sanitized kind of feeling and then getting here was like whoa there's dirt everywhere and the kitchen felt so dirty when I first got here and now I'm like what did I see like my perspective has shifted I've adapted and I love it I love living basically outside all the time let things open right like even our room there's no door <laughs> we walk upstairs when we enter into this and then it like has a rooftop for the rain, but that's it. There's no like, there's no like wall on one side. So it's been really nice. And the jungle is like constantly yeah, chir chirping and chirping and making sounds. And at first it was so loud. I was like, wow, this is so loud. I'm never gonna be able to sleep. And now it's like background noise. I don't even know it's know it's there. And yeah, it's adaptation. It's I'm feeling pretty complete with this this video for now. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Have yourself a wonderful life. <laughs> Bye.